Hello, welcome back. Um, in the last class, we talked about HTML. Uh, with the you know, the basic concept, anyways, we we, we discussed about um, the basic concept of HTML, what it is, the the, the the tags. We discussed about the tags, the elements, and you know how it's structured the website. But right now, I uh, that was proud to the, um, the end, towards the ending of the. And last class i said something about an id but now i think uh, uh i forgot to say that um we'll be needing apart from the id we'll be needing um we'll be needing uh a, a, a chrome browser a browser uh please use google chrome i I'll, i recommend google chrome which is the best i can always uh the best i can think of right now so um, the next after this is an ID. What is an ID? You may ask. An ID is just um, an, an acronym for Integrated um, Development Environment. It is a code editor to style or format your code. Uh, it is more like, um, say, a book for programmers. In the industry standard today, you will agree with me, um, the most suitable ID for programmers is um, Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio code, which is an open source. So, um, Visual Studio Code is the most is the most required. And uh, if you go to code.visualstudio.com, let's click it. Yes, code.visuals.com. It will bring you to this page. Uh, it is easy to install and download. It comes pre-bundled with lots of extensions and boilerplate codes. Uh, you can just click on it and download directly from Flight Force. It recognizes that it recognized quite honestly that I'm using Windows. Uh, and it recognized my operating system. But you can check through and see some other operating systems that it uses. Um, if you're on Mac OS, you can download from Mac OS. That is the Macintosh, of course, Windows X 64 bit um, user installer. Of course, if you have Linux, uh, if you are Linux, this is the one for Debian. Debian is, is one of the distros for Ubuntu, of course. Ubuntu, Debian, they use the dev extension. And if you are using Fedora, Suse, Red Hat, you can download it on RPM. So, that being said, I have extension, I have, I'm sorry, I have ID. Uh, which is of course Visual Visual Studio Code, or you can say VS Code. Uh, that's that, that is uh, that's commonly said or mentioned uh, by most developers. So um, after that, you will head up to uh, the VS Code page. It will take you to the after downloading it. It will take you to to bring you to this um, welcome page. So after coming to this welcome page. Um, you create a new, you open a new, a new folder. You create a new folder. Let's call it um, lesson one. Um, lesson one. Sorry. Lesson one. So, um, oh, sorry, I've not made a folder. Sorry. Let's create a folder. New. You can say lesson one, lesson one. So select a folder. So then you can click here to select the file. So now by selecting a file, that is the file that you will run your, that we store your code, an executable file that um, you will, that you'll be writing your code on let's say um i have here yeah, let's call it index um index.html is commonly used now um you can you will see that my uh, my file is written in lower case the name of my file is the forget about this is written in lower case if you see the drop down the white drop down is written in lower case. You can you can name your folder. I mean, sorry, I mean my folder. You can name your folder anything, 
um just bear it in mind that whatsoever you name your folder if you name it in uppercase it won't do anything in fact vs code won't complain don't get me wrong um but you can uh, the only problem you'll be having is um what we what a nigerian a typical nigerian we call wahala by the time you start running your code on the browser you might be uh, the code might be the, the, the browser might be having difficulties in um, understanding your folder and you know kind of you might start experiencing something that you wouldn't have uh, something you wouldn't want to experience uh, um, and that is that um, okay so for those that will be using um, other mobile devices I've sent um, some uh, apps you could install to run your code on your mobile device i sent those of um, i sent the ones you could use on android i sent the ones you could use on ios which is um iphone so if you have iphones you, there are the ones i sent you could use it and remember i said number three is um well is the most used and is very, very fine and sleeky then um uh, I think the one the one for Android, I sent it to to the group as well. Please um, take note of that because I would want everybody to be carried along. I would be respective of the device device you are using. Right now, the last lessons I was on Mac. Right now, I'm on Windows. I might be switching between OS, between operating systems, raising uh, for, for obvious reasons, anyways. Uh, so if you see me switch between. Um, operating systems and some commands that I may be using might be different from the commands that like in, in uh, Windows it is uh, control while uh, in Mac OS I might be using command and uh, please don't get confused as to that but anyways I will oftentimes I will try to you know call your attention to whatsoever operating system I'll be using uh, let's head over to the next class thank you very much